And what you're going to know is whenever these new champions come out or any champion that you want to play, what kind of damage you're going to get out of that champion for your account specifically. Now, I still want you to watch all the content creators out there running their champions through all the content. But right after you watch that video, I want you to refer to this spreadsheet. So you'll have an idea of exactly how much damage this champion can do and what this champion can do for your account. We're going to focus on Hern Dig right now. Hern Dig's the brand new fusion champion. Everybody wants to know, should I do the fusion? Get this fusion champion. This guy can hit enormously hard, which we're going to see in just a minute. He also can do so many debuffs, it's crazy. Get turn meter on the passive. If he gets a kill here, he gets an additional turn. We're going to compare this A1 to Septimus's A1 to see what kind of damage there is or any other champion that you are using on your specific account to see what kind of damage you can get. Not only is he doing an AoE here and AoE here, all these debuffs buffs are incredible. We're just going to use him as our example compared to whatever champion you use. Now, maybe you've seen this spreadsheet before. Maybe you've looked at multipliers before. Maybe you go onto certain websites on the internet and you look up multipliers specifically. Multipliers are great, but we're not going to look at multipliers. We're going to look at the calculated damage. Look at this row over here. Here's the row. Now, the multipliers along with whatever base stat driving this damage is what we're going to get this calculated damage from. So Hern Dig does damage based off of attack. Whatever his max attack is, calculated damage will be this. So if we took Hern Dig and we put a whole bunch of attack, a whole bunch of critical damage on him, this would be the calculated damage for him. And we have this for all the champions out there. So right now Hern Dig's A1 is a 4 multiplier that hits for 6,763. Now that number we want to know because you might have another champion out there that has a 4 multiplier on the A1 that you have your best gear on. And you know, every day you see that champion in arena. You see that champion every day going through dungeons and now you know exactly how much damage this guy's going to do once you put your best gear on him. Because you want somebody. You want somebody that's an amazing nuker and amazing debuffer, which Hern Dig is everything. So then you want to know, okay, will he really do damage? I've seen him do damage. I don't have a bad Alcazar. I don't have the gear that this content creator has. I just don't know if I'm really confident that he can do damage because they're inflating the damage so much. They're making it look really cool. They're going through some awesome content. It's fun to watch, but you're still not confident that this guy is for you. So now you can come in here every single time. Let's look at his A2 here. His A2 AoE is a 4.4. If you did the Astralon Fusion and you're doing AoEs with Astralon, very powerful Astralon AoE does a stun with it. 100% chance to stun. That, I think he has a four multiplier on that. We can go check in a minute. So very close to the damage right here. And it's gonna be exactly the same amount of damage because Astralon has higher base attack. That's why we're looking at the calculated damage here instead of just the multiplier. We need to see the whole calculated damage for it. So I think he hits exactly the same as Astralon. I'm pretty sure Astralon has a little bit higher. We'll go compare the two if you're using Astralon. Whatever champion you are using, you want to compare it to that. And you'll know exactly what you're going to, you'll know the damage. You are going to know all the damage. Now his A3 is going to hit one target for 6.2. 10,000 calculated damage, which is very strong. And then if it crits, it can also deplete turn meter. If it crits though, it's going to do an AOE for four. A four multiplier here of 6,763. But that one target, as long as you crit, is going to get hit for 16,000. 17,000. That is a crazy, crazy amount of damage. That one single target is going to get hit by more damage than probably I've seen in the game. We'll go look at Yannicka and see what Yannicka can hit somebody for and take an additional turn and do her AoE, her single target into her AoE. But this is way more than Trunda. But Trunda can also do an AoE to everybody and hit for about 13,000 calculated damage, I think is what it is. So yes, Hern Dig can hit extremely hard for that one target. Basic for everybody else though. This four multiplier is very standard for a lot of champions. If you have an Ithos out there, he's hitting his A2 and his A3 for about a four, four, one, somewhere around there, I think. We can go check his as well. So if you're using Ithos and you know you're gonna put that gear on your Hern Dig, that's what it's going to hit for. Now, we're just talking about Hern Dig right now as an example, but you can do this with anybody. Any new champion coming out, any champion you're thinking about playing, you will know what kind of damage you're going to do with the gear that you have because you've been playing that champion every single day. You've been using them in arena. You've been using them everywhere else. This is what I do as a content creator. I go in here and I look, okay, so this person has this multiplier based off of defense, based off of attack. I want to know if they're going to hit hard. I want to know if they're going to do well with the gear I have because I know I play these champions. Like my best geared champion right now is Saito. That's what I've got my best gear on. 
So I know what he hits for. I know exactly what he hits for, and I can take that information, and I can use it to know exactly what's going to happen with any other champion that I want to play that's attack-based. Because I can look at their calculated damage. I can look at Saito's calculated damage. Speaking of, let's go look over there. Saito, let's see what he's got for his, too, because he's got a one hit. He's going to hit one person really, really hard, and then he's going to AoE everybody else for, I think, 4.1. Pretty much the same. Like 4.1 is very, but his attack, right? What's his base attack like? What's his calculated damage like? He's going to hit that one person for 10,000. It's a seven multiplier, which is really high. But since his attack isn't insane, like some of those other champions, like Yannicka, we're only getting 10,000. 10,600 there. And then he's going to AOE everybody else. Oh, for 4.5. More, but still, it's still the calculated damage of 6,800. You can see a lot of the stuff is kind of the same, right? We are on Trunda Guilt Mallet now to compare her to Herndig. Everybody asks all the time, can they do Trunda damage, right? That's a big saying. Do they do the same amount of crazy damage that Trunda does? Trunda's at a three multiplier, but her base attack is so damn high that right there, 6,271 for that one hit, it's pretty much what everybody else's four multiplier is. If they have a four multiplier and their attack is down a bit, they'll have somewhere around 6,000, 6,800 around the ballpark, but she can hit twice on this ability. Two times if you don't stun the enemy, so that's over 12,500 damage to everyone out there. Though Hern Dig will do an amazing amount of damage, way more than that on that one single target. But then he's going to hit everybody else for 6,800, I think it was. Trunda still is the queen of AoE damage, but Herndig can really hurt that one person and then do a nice amount of mass AoE damage to everyone else. The same that pretty much everybody can do with that four multiplier on him. So that's all we need to look at. That's the calculated damage. Make sure you pay attention to that calculated damage. That's right. We were supposed to look at Septimus's A1 compared to Herndig's A1 to see what we're working with. A1 is going to be a, what was it? It was a four multiplier doing a calculated damage of 6,763. Now Septimus is going to have a lower multiplier, but I think he's going to do more damage because his attack is much higher. Septimus. Septimus. There we are. Septimus's A1 is going to be a... Where are you at? Where are you? Two point, no, that's his other book. 3.6, 7,533. So Septimus is doing a little bit more damage than Herndig. Herndig is still very respectable because Herndig is going to take an additional turn and lower a cooldown on his A3. If you put it into perspective of Herndig against all the other top champions out there with Septimus doing his A1, taking an additional turn, Herndig doing that as well, and then the AoE damage we're getting from him especially on that single target compared to people like, not really like Trunda. I mean, we've already established Trunda is the queen. Trunda is the queen still of AOE, but this guy is still very good. And if we're going to take them into PVE content, I mean, PVE content is pretty much doing potion keeps and then normal Doom Tower and maybe some lower Doom Tower hard. But really, when you're talking about Doom Tower hard, higher floors, we're not usually bringing in a DPS champion like this. We're not even bringing in Trunda. And then stage 21 to 25 dungeons, we're usually not bringing in Trunda either. You're bringing in your Seer, unfortunately. So there are still limited uses for champions like this, right? I'll leave this spreadsheet in the comments below, but if you go down to my videos, any of my videos on YouTube and you hit show more, you see right here, Doom Tower spreadsheet, if you wanna know anything about the Doom Tower and multipliers. This is what I'm looking at right now are the multipliers. Hit that link and you'll be taken to the spreadsheet. This video really wasn't about Herndig though. This video is about knowing the calculated damage and knowing that when you watch a video out there of other content creators and you see them going through some amazing content, hitting hard with all their crazy gear, what will your damage be like? What will your damage be like with a champion you're using every single day and then you put that best gear on this champion and then you know, you know exactly what's going to happen. Please let me know down below if you have any questions. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all in a video soon.